I was born on July 11, 1767, in Braintree, Massachusetts, now Quincy. My name is John Quincy Adams, and my story is one of public service, diplomatic achievements, and a lifelong dedication to the principles of liberty and justice. Raised in a household deeply committed to the cause of American independence, I was fortunate to have a father, John Adams, who served as one of our nation's founding fathers and the second president of the United States. Their influence instilled in me a strong sense of duty and a passion for public service. From an early age, I pursued a rigorous education, studying at various institutions across Europe. These experiences broadened my horizons and shaped my perspective on global affairs. I developed a deep knowledge of languages, law, and politics, which would prove invaluable in my future endeavors. In 1794, I entered the world of diplomacy serving as a secretary to the American minister to Russia. This marked the beginning of a long and distinguished diplomatic career that would take me to prominent posts in Europe, including the Netherlands, Prussia, and Russia. I represented the United States in critical negotiations, including the Treaty of Ghent that ended the War of 1812. I played a pivotal role in securing territorial acquisitions for the United States, including Florida, from Spain, and the Oregon country from Great Britain. These diplomatic successes helped shape the borders of our expanding nation. In 1824, I ran for President of the United States and emerged victorious in a contested election. As the sixth president, I sought to advance a progressive agenda that included infrastructure improvements, the promotion of education and the arts, and the expansion of scientific knowledge. Throughout my presidency, I faced political opposition and challenges, but I remained steadfast in my commitment to serve the American people and uphold the principles of our Constitution. I strongly advocated for the abolition of slavery, recognizing it as a moral evil that contradicted the ideals of our nation. After my presidency, I continued to be active in public life. I served in the United States House of Representatives, where I defended the right to freedom of speech and fought against the expansion of slavery. In my later years, I returned to my passion for diplomacy and was appointed as the United States Minister to Great Britain.